Do you know what playing violent video games like Grand Theft Auto V is gonna do to your brain? It's gonna make it awesome. Anthony here for DNews and I'm crazy excited for GTA V. And you know, you're probably gonna see a lot of stuff by a lot of people in the media over the next couple days talking about how exposing ourselves and our society to violent escapism is ruining us, destroying our attention spans, warping our moral values, fueling our inner violent tendencies. Except, there's a ton of research that says not only is that not true, but a game like Grand Theft Auto can actually do the opposite and make you a better person. So let's get all this violence out of the way first. What does a violent video game do to you when you're playing it? Well, if you don't already have violent tendencies, Nothing, nothing negative anyway. A 2010 Texas A&M study showed that video games can't transfer the moral beliefs or personality traits of the main character to a person. So just because Trevor shoots up a local business doesn't mean that you are more likely to go out and do the same thing. There have been some studies published showing correlation between kids that play video games and kids that have violent tendencies, but statistics also show that 91 to 97 percent of all kids in the United States play video games. So when your sample size is everyone, you can pretty much find whatever subgroup you want in there. A study published this year in Consciousness and Cognition did find something interesting about putting yourself into a video game character's shoes though. People who showed prejudice against a particular group, whether it was racism, sexism, xenophobia, actually became less prejudiced towards them in real life after playing as that sort of character. Stepping into the shoes of a character that looks or acts differently than you can make you empathize with them more. And all that shoot 'em up violence is actually really good for some important bits of your brain. There's this perception that video games kill our attention spans and make us more impulsive, quicker to make decisions without thinking them through. The University of Rochester says part of that is true. They did find that people who play video games, particularly fast-paced shooters, do make decisions up to 25% faster, but they are no less accurate. When we make decisions, we take in all the audio, visual, and logical information around us, and we make our choices based on something called probabilistic inference. We calculate everything in our heads. People who play shooters are more efficient collectors and processors of that information. Studies by the University of Geneva and Duke University also show people who play video games have better visual acuity. Their vision doesn't physically get better, but they're better able to make out blurry, fuzzy, or distant objects since they're used to looking for distant targets on screen that aren't fully rendered yet. Playing 3D games also improves the brain's spatial visualization skills. Seeing a 2D representation of something and being able to rotate it and visualize it in your head, which makes sense since all video games are just 3D worlds on a 2D screen. High spatial visualization skills in children have been linked to higher achievement in reading, engineering, and mathematics later on in life. But of course, everything in moderation, right? Playing video games for too long can put a physical and mental strain on you, it can lower your energy levels, and it can even lead to addiction in some people. But as long as you keep it to a reasonable amount, it's all heightened brain activity and supervision. My rule of thumb is if I can feel myself peeling off the couch when I stand up, it's been too long. If you're curious about GTA itself, our lovely friends at Rev3 Games have their review up now, and I will be live streaming it with them tonight at midnight. You can watch all of that at youtube.com slash rev3games. I'ma blow up a whole city.